Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your Epson EcoTank printer to your MacBook. Um, this is actually very simple, but there are a couple of prerequisites. So yeah, just follow along and I'll show you how. Now, one thing I wanna mention ahead of time is that I'm using an Epson, Epson EcoTank 2860. However, um, you can pretty much use any Epson EcoTank. This is all the same, really. They use the same hardware and firmware. Um, mostly the same, I guess. Um, so don't worry if your printer doesn't look exactly the same as mine. Um, the truth shall remain, and I think um, it, 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 you know, it should still work. So um, one of the first things you need to keep in mind is that your printer needs to be set up on the same Wi-Fi as the device that you're trying to print from, aka the Mac over there. Um, so if you haven't if you haven't set it up on the Wi-Fi then um, you will need to make sure that um, you've done that already. Now, I have a video already on how that's done. Now, the way that you can check that your printer is ready for this um, is to see that the uh, Wi-Fi indicator light is a solid green on the top there. Um, should that be the case, then it is very likely set up against the Wi-Fi of your home. Like I said, if you haven't done this before, I have a tutorial titled How to Set Up Wi-Fi on Your Epson EcoTank Printer, um, and that should get you going. Um, now, um, just another quick way to check as well is you should have the Epson Smart Panel app, and um, if it connects well and you can have a look at some settings on your printer and whatnot, um, that means that your printer is ready and set up. Now, unlike... Um, printers such as a HP desktop or some previous Epson models, to print directly from your MacBook, you don't actually need to have any kind of external app or anything. Um, you can simply find the printer through network discovery once it's just on the Wi-Fi. And I find this extremely useful. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go head over to my Mac and um, we're going to get it set up. So here you are on my Mac and um, as you can see, I have my file that I'd like to print, and I also have the settings icon open. Now, um, in the settings, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and search the word printer, printers and scanners. Um, now, in printers and scanners, you'll find, um, this is my previous and old printer. What you all have to do is click add scan to print up, printer or fax, and you'll see this will bring up another menu. And um, because this printer is on my network, you can see it shows up immediately. So we're gonna click this, we're gonna click the Epson. Now, one thing is that it likes to use drivers. You know, it a driver is kind of, you know, makes sense like a driver for a car. Um, you need something that actually works and is compatible with the printer. Now you can download drivers from online, but I find that you can actually just use ones that are, um, on the printer it's, that are on your MacBook itself. So you can click select software. And um, this is showing at the top because I've previously had it there, but you can search the word Epson. And I'm gonna click Epson nine pin series and add it. If that doesn't work, you can add, your, add it on the 24 pin series, um, but it should work with nine pin. And as you can see, my printer is now there and ready to go. So I can now actually, um, Go to file and uh, send a print job. So I'm going to select my print me file. Um, and what I'll do is I will click. So once you've clicked print, um, it will actually send the job directly to your printer and it will spool it out immediately. Um, you'll see the print dialog may actually open and give you the option to view the um, view the printer itself and what's happening. And um, you can view the printer queue by opening it. And um, you can see I don't have any jobs waiting at the moment because I've sent mine already. And, um, and yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hopefully this helped. And, um, and yeah, thank you very much. Check my channel for more tutorials based on the Epson EcoTank printer. Bye-bye.